when you look at my layout over here, you're thinking, you know, why didn't I name uh, this navigation? I just named it navbar as opposed to left nav and then, you know, right column or something like that. You know, the, the whole idea behind CSS is that um, it could change, right? So what can change, I mean, you could change the overall style of an entire website through one file, through one external style sheet. But if I were to name this, for example, left nav, and then later I wanted to kind of redo the look of my site and I put the nav to the right, well, I'd have to then go back into all my HTML pages and um, change that title to like left nav to right nav or right bar or nav bar, whatever, you know what I mean? So I chose something generic that one, it has semantic meaning, meaning that my ID selector says nav bar. I guess I could name the navigation bar, but it means something to me. Um, and I think, you know, when another designer would see it, if they wanted to see how I did it, it they'd get the gist too. Same thing with uh, site title and subtitles. I mean, you don't want to go creating divs named div1, div2, div3, div4 that, that really don't tell you anything. For one, uh, it's going to confuse you when you're just working with it and you start seeing all the stuff and you know in the CSS panel over here, you're going to want something more descriptive because that way when you're clicking on something, you quickly see, you quickly know what particular div you're talking about. And the second thing is, again, that has no semantic meaning and it's going to be sitting there inside of your HTML page and you just want to be able to uh, have meaning for everything in the actual uh, HTML.